basic setup that we analyze in this paper is a standard Downsian model of two electoral competition in one dimension. So it's a standard hoteling model with a small twist. What we add to it is, so the, or the, the assumption that we change is the information that the voters have about the candidates. Instead of assuming perfect information, we're gonna assume that the voters don't see exactly the platforms that are um, presented by the candidates, and we think that this is a realistic uh, assumption. We have two candidates that choose simultaneously a policy position in a one-dimensional policy space. And then after that, voters obser observe exactly what are these policy positions, and they decide to which politician they want to give their vote according to that. In the standard hoteling model, we get convergence of the platforms chosen by the parties to the median voter most preferred ideal policy, uh, yeah. most preferred policy. And here we have extremism. The two kinds of results that we have depend on whether the advantage is small or large. This advantage that is the probability with which the indifferent voter votes for candidate A is small if it's close to one half, if it's large if it's close to one. So when the advantage is small, we have an extreme convergent equilibrium in pure strategies. While when the advantage is large, what we have is an extreme divergent equilibrium in mixed strategies. So the first of the assumptions that I told you is this voter's lack of information. And the voter's lack of information in this model implies the, the, the part of the extremism that we get in the results. We relax this assumption by giving more information to the voters in two different ways. If we give also information to the voters about the distance between the two poly the two policy platforms chosen by the parties, nothing changes. And then by increasing the, the, the proportion of informed voters, or if you want the probability that the median voter is fully informed. And we get that when we do that, we, the, the extremism decreases and then we converge to the standard model of the of hoteling. The second assumption is the effect of the advantage is the differentiation. The differentiation comes from the fact that when the advantage candidate chooses a policy, the disadvantage candidate doesn't want to get close to it, wants to move away. When the disadvantage, for any policy that the disadvantage candidate chooses, the advantage candidate wants to jump on top of him. So basically, in there is no pure strategy equilibrium, and in the mixed strategy equilibrium, the disadvantaged candidate clearly wants to be unpredictable for the advantage candidate to avoid being matched. And the advantage candidate is going to mix, trying to maximize the probability that he matches the disadvantage candidate. The advantage candidate is going to put a lot of probability on policies that are close to zero, and less and less probability as policies get away from zero. And the disadvantage candidate is going to put a lot of probability that that are on policies that are close to one, and less and less probability on policies that are far away from one. The comparative statics tell us that when the, when the probability that the median voter is left is increases, then the equilibrium strategies become more extreme. And when rho increases, then the equilibrium strategies become less extreme. When the advantage increases, the disadvantage candidate has more incentives to become unpredictable and, uh, and, and it starts spreading out more the probability along the policy space. The conclusion of these results is that basically it's unique and dominated uh, sequential equilibrium with respect to the, the strategies of the parties for all the parameter values, for all the values of rho that are larger than one half or equal to one half, and for all the, the, the distributions of the, that represent the beliefs of the candidates, except for one case, except for the case in which uh, we have um, this double symmetry that everything is equal to one half. So basically, uh, we think that the contribution of this paper is that uh, we show that imperfectly informed voters imply these extreme policy outcomes, but we have that the candidate's asymmetry, candidate's advantage reduces the extremists, so that's one way to reduce this uh, not wanted uh, effect, and increasing the, the information of the voters also reduces the extremists, so we have two uh, remedies for, for the extremists.